hello everyone welcome back to the channel thank you for joining me if you're new here do me a favor hit that subscribe button i thank you all for being on this journey with me this one may be kind of short and sweet it's really a late pickup when you consider how fast sneaker news moves and just the way the sneaker world moves when one day you're hot next day you're not so for those of you who are unaware global supply chain issues have been wreaking havoc on the supply chain when stores used to get a full shipment of shoes now they're getting sporadic shipment of full-size runs Case in point, here we are in February 2022, and I picked up a shoe that dropped in November of 2021. It's actually a Foot Locker drop that I paid retail for. So as a little bit of an FYI, check your Flex apps. Every now and then, stores in your area will have these late shipments come in, and they will populate on the app. You can then go ahead and try your hand at reserving these shoes, use a couple of extra head starts, and maybe you can get lucky. Whipping out the box, we have a standard Air Jordan 1 box, classic black and red, size tag read. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG, Bordeaux Metallic Silver White. I already went ahead and put this shoe out. I was just so happy to have it. But ladies and gentlemen, for the first time on this channel, I'm pleased to present to you the Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux. Late shipment, restock, whatever you want to call it, I got this shoe almost three months after its initial release in November. The Air Jordan 1 Bordeaux. As I mentioned, this one is going to be probably be pretty short and sweet. It's a Bordeaux colorway of the Air Jordan 1, and that's Chicago color blocking. The materials on it are pretty nice, if I do say so myself. It has that matte leather on it, which a lot of people are kind of iffy about. I happen to like the matte leather. It gives it a nice aesthetic, makes it look nice, clean, and classic with this matte finish all over it. But nothing too different about this shoe. I do like how soft the shoe is. Some people don't particularly care about materials. I'm not a huge stickler for it, but I do like the way the shoe feels in hand. Tumbled white leather on the side, on the upper, and on the toe box, as well as the collar. Also tumbled matte leather on the side in that Bordeaux colorway. Silver metallic swoosh up against the white background. White Jeweled Wings logo, which also made its way onto the Cold Japan Midnight Navy version, which I have up here. Now go ahead and compare those shoes. Showing the shoes side by side, you can see that they're nearly identical. This one just happens to have, I guess, a dark new buck or whatever is on it, I'm not the materials guy. But the shoes are damn near identical. Major difference being that the Midnight Navy does have a leather tongue with an embroidered Nike Air logo on it, as opposed to the Bordeaux with the classic tongue tag and the Bordeaux colorway. Classic Bordeaux color radio traction. Not sure if the camera's going to pick that up, but it's a white insole with a Bordeaux Nike Air on the inside. As I mentioned, this was probably going to be pretty short and sweet. Now, the Bordeaux colorway makes its way onto the silhouette which was borrowed, of course, from the Air Jordan 7 Bordeaux. Now, I have that shoe here, and I'm just going to go ahead and focus right here on the tongue. You do see that Bordeaux colorway there, as well as on the back shield and several other places. And I think that Jordan Brand has done a pretty good job keeping the mixture of that Bordeaux colorway pretty similar to what's making its way on its 2021 release. Now, this shoe is a 2015 version, which I'm thankful to have, and it's been holding up just okay, so beautiful shoe. But as you can see, there are the Bordeaux color similarities. Jordan Brand also brought back the Bordeaux colorway on the Jordan 6. And I also think I want to say that they brought a Bordeaux colorway onto the Alma Manier Jordan 1. I'm not quite sure if that's actually Bordeaux because of the cracked leather, but either way, Bordeaux is probably here to stay. Now, the Bordeaux colorway makes its way because of Michael Jordan's love for wine. Now, Bordeaux is a place in France, which would be a reasonable assumption that they're famous for their wines. And of course, Bordeaux has its wine color on it. Now, as far as the silver color on the swoosh, Nike describes it as a trophy-like inspiration, maybe a silver medal or a silver trophy. Uh, that's cool, you know, I think gold would go pretty well on here, but silver it is. And uh, again, I'm thankful to have this shoe. The shoe does come with one spare pair of laces. We're going to go outside and try to get some on-foot shots and maybe do a little lace swap. We'll see what goes well with this Bordeaux colorway. Now, as far as resale, if you care about that sort of thing, of course, I paid $170, which is the retail price. And I believe in my size 11, the shoe's right around $200 to $210 for the shipping, processing, and state tax that your uh, stores are now charging you. If you go aftermarket, expect to pay somewhere around $230 to $250 for this shoe. With all that being said, 
be sure to check your flex apps be sure to check your finish lines stay diligent there's a couple of good folks to follow on twitter like soul links who will give you heads up about restocks now again this particular shoe was very region specific to me your region may have several stores either opening or getting late shipments that once you're at the text where you're at it will tell you whether or not shoes like this become available for you as i mentioned let's go ahead and go outside and get you guys on feet I appreciate you guys sticking in there with me. I'm finally over a thousand subscribers, so listen to me very carefully. Giveaway will be coming soon. Giveaway inbound. So stay tuned to the channel. Stay tuned for my latest drop. Thank you all for sticking in there with me. Until the next one, I've been Jay Shoe Fanatic, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Better than the 2020 version. Oh, right.